up everybody, I'm Star Lord, and today's video I thought that I would do kind of a speculation video about a Pokemon that will most likely be coming to Pokemon Brick Bronze in the future. And uh, I know that you guys really, really like these speculation videos. I know they are just speculation, kind of talking about what we think is going to happen when this Pokemon is in, in, introduced into the game. But a lot of you guys like them, and I like making them. So uh, yeah, if you do enjoy this video, guys, don't forget to leave a like. And uh, let's get into it. So here we are in Brimber City right here. But uh, this isn't where we're going to be. We're, we need to go all the way over to Port Deca. Now, the Pokemon that I think will most likely be added... Uh, pretty much very soon. I, I think, honestly, they're probably going to add this Pokemon pretty soon. Uh, what we're going to do is go into Cosmos Valley. Uh, and I know that many of you guys will probably think, like, probably agree with me on this. And, um, yeah, I think that this is pretty much a viable... -able, viable... -able, a via no. Uh, this is a... This is a very reasonable theory. That is probably the best way to say it. I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so here we are in Cosmos Valley, guys. And uh, we just kind of... Wait, no, that's not... We, we don't want to do that. We want to go this way. There you go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the observatory in Cosmos Valley. And uh, yeah, let's just kind of go up these stairs, which are kind of glitchy. They should have tested these before they made them. But yeah, let's just speak to this one in a second. The view up here is pretty nice. I'm probably a little too close to the edge, though. I will... I will push you. Wait, I wonder if we can push her off. Wait there a second, can we? Wait there a second. Can I push this woman off? No! She's gonna push me off! No! No, she can't. They st they actually put a barrier here so that you can- Oh, no, you can get off here. Oh, Jesus. Um, okay, so as the little valley would suggest, it is called Cosmos Valley. And it's very appropriate that there is an actual observatory here to watch the stars, uh, which is pretty cool. Now, we just kind of talk around these people here. It says, it was built here uh, on this hill to get a wider range of the site in the valley, which is, you know, that's pretty cool. Okay, okay. Uh, and then we're going to go inside here and we're going to see what what these people have to say. Uh, is this your first time view visiting the Space Observatory? From here, we studied the, our solar system and observed astral bodies that inhabit it. Space is so, so full of mystery and wonder that even we who have studied it most of our lives have only barely scratched the surface, which is pretty true about our own uh, kind of, you know, existence, guys. Uh, and then it says, I've seen a lot of strange things on my job, but aliens? People ask me all the time if I've met visitors from outer space. As skeptical as I am about the notion, there are some pretty interesting theories that some of our Pokemon have come from places outside of this world. That is something I would like to personally study and lay to rest. And then if we talk to this last guy, can we get to you? Yes, we can. Uh, Cosmos Valley receives a lot of meteor showers. We've had several large mysterious meteorites crash into the Cosmos Valley. We've detected an energy reading from them. We aren't sure yet what sort of energy they provide, but we've asked some specialists to do some more research on them. So this guy here is probably the most notable person saying that there has been some kind of energy on the meteorites found in Cosmos Valley. Now, there could be several Pokemon that this can relate to, such as, uh, well, probably the most notable one is, uh, you know, the DNA Pokemon, which is Deoxys. Now, if we kind of look around Cosmos Valley really quickly, guys, I just want to check if there's one over here. I'm pretty sure there is. Where is it? Here! Okay, this is one of the meteorites that I'm assuming that guy is talking about. Now, what really kind of stuck out to me about this whole thing was a really cool kind of theory that I have. And honestly, call me crazy, but I would love if this was added to the game. So, like I was saying, you know, Deoxys will eventually be added to the game. But, what if it was added like this? Um, so, basically... Once a year, just like the Manaphy event, basically somewhere in this valley, one of these kind of meteorites will glow up with a strange glow. And the first person over to the meteorite and clicks it will actually encounter some sort of DNA kind of, uh, I don't know, some sort of rock or something where they have to go and take it up to the valley and go and give it to the Pokemon uh, professors, I guess, and then kind of uh, analyze the data. And then they realize that this Pokemon in this rock this DNA is actually Deoxys. And um, I was kind of thinking that would be really cool because 
Deoxys is a very, very OP Pokemon. I mean, if you use it correctly with the right moveset, it is very OP. And the last thing that, like, people want is another Manaphy kind of thing, you know, where, like, everybody had a Manaphy. Um, so basically, when Manaphy, the, when the Manaphy event was first kind of introduced into Pokemon Brick Bronze, it was kind of a bit easier to find Manaphy eggs on the beach, but nowadays it definitely isn't. They've increased or decreased the chances of finding those Manaphy eggs. So what if they did the exact same thing to these meteorites around this valley? What if just one time a year, maybe like sometime in December, um, basically uh, there was like an event, it was called the, D the DNA event or something, where basically these one of these rocks every hour would glow and the first person over to that rock would then kind of, you know, click it and it would say, congratulations, you found a mysterious space rock, something like that. And then you go and take it up to that valley over there and you analyze it and then you get the Pokemon Deoxys because, you know, it is kind of from space or from, you know, somewhere else. Um, other than that, you know, we can actually probably uh, kind of say that maybe, uh, I think it's Cosmog, Cosmog, may be added in a kind of update, but genuinely, I think this is the best way to introduce Deoxys into the game, because, you know, they can make it a yearly event, not many people would ha have the Pokemon, because, you know, it'd just be super OP in, they're all lining up, everyone's lining up, hello guys, um, basically, yeah, I, I don't know, that's my kind of theory on the whole subject anyway, and if anyone from the PBB team actually sees this video, Honestly, I think that fans would love this and I think that you kind of need to do an event like this uh, Such as the Manaphy event because you know, we don't get too many events such as the um, I guess the Valentine's Pikachu event I think that to keep Update and more people playing the game you need to do constant monthly updates like that at least like one special Pokemon a month Where you know, it's kind of a different color or something, you know such as the Valentine's Pikachu Um, I don't know I think this would be a really cool thing to add into the game and uh, yeah If you agree with me in the comment section below guys go and comment and uh, if you don't tell me what other Pokemon you think could actually be added to this area I would love love to know uh, but yeah that's pretty much being it for today's video guys i do hope that you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to leave a like and uh, yeah please feel free to comment any other kind of uh, theory videos that you would like to see or if you have a theory of your own comment it down below uh, but anyway until next time i've been star lord oh see ya